Hello, my name is Bob. Let me introduce you to my family. Here's my dad Leo, my sister Julia, and my girlfriend Eve. As you all might have heard, there's a huge deforestation happening in the Amazon rainforests. Trees are being cut down or forest burned to make way for crops and cattle growth. But has it ever occurred to you that fish could also be related to deforestation? Let's start from the beginning. There's a Scandinavian country called Norway with stunning fjords and forests, most EVs per capita in the world, and high quality of living. They are also one of the most important fish exporters in the world, second only to China. Me and my family live in Norway, it's really nice up here. To help you paint a picture though, in 2015, Norway only accounted for 55% of the world production of Atlantic salmon. That's us, so you can imagine how big the industry is. Going a bit deeper into the industry, let me tell you of the ways they catch fish. The first one is called aquaculture. The fish are grown in water ponds or in a flow through system and then used for sale. The other ways are fisheries, where the wild fish populations are caught and then processed for selling. Both of these have limitations and can cause damage. Aquaculture is highly associated with fish lice. These are tiny parasites that attach to the fish and start feeding on it. This disease is extremely hard to eradicate and treatments use a lot of pharmaceutical drugs. It's really painful, Eve got fish lice some years ago and she still has these small scars. Nutrient leaching. Fish farms are not closed systems, meaning that excess nutrients are released into the Norwegian coastline, causing an increase in algae growth and reducing available oxygen. Juliet has been having some asthma episodes these past months. And deforestation. Huge forests are cut down in order to grow soybeans for fish feed. I cry when I see that on TV. Meanwhile, fisheries, most of my friends actually live in the nature outside of a pond as it is cheaper. But these are extremely dependable on fossil fuels. As opposed to fish farms, vessels have to go out in the open sea to catch fish, which consume massive amounts of oil. Fisheries are also responsible for losses in biodiversity. Most of the grown fish cannot be fully maintained on vegetarian feed. Therefore, so-called low-value fish are used to feed them. This creates extreme disbalance in fish populations and species richness pushing more fish species to be endangered. My friend Sam cannot find a suitable partner now. Nonetheless, not everything is lost. There are several solutions to make the fishing industry more sustainable. By introducing hydrogen powered ships, the need for fossil fuels would be minimized, as well as all the environmental risks and emissions caused by oil. There are new developments involving fish lice treatment. One of them consists in introducing certain types of clean fish that feed on fish lice. For example, ras. This would significantly lower the disease rates and impact on the marine ecosystems. Plus, I love the guys, rasses are amazing when it comes to DJ skills. Furthermore, fish diet could be changed by adding insects. They are rich in proteins and would lower the need of low value fish catch, saving fish populations and biodiversity. We also want to eat more sustainable, so I feel like this would really be a game changer. Encouraging the biofuel production from fish waste could also help diversify the energy production and shifting out of fossil fuels. Norway has the goal to expand the fish farm production five-fold by 2050. If the current practices continue, this will lead to increased environmental pressures. Norway should assess the possible solutions and implement policies to guarantee sustainable growth of the industry.